Hello, my beautiful souls. I have no idea how the heck am I going to do this because I am so emotional. I am so emotional. And I just wanted to definitely share with you what's going on, what's happening, and show you as well this beautiful and magnificent place that I've been blessed with to be. So this is actually still Cyprus, but on the other side of the of the of the airport, if that if that's the right way to say it. And if you're watching this live for on repeat, say hello, send me some love, and I'm going just to show you around because here we have a penthouse and this is actually a 360 view so <laughs> this is right now my favorite spot and i have the view 360 around over here which is absolutely beautiful and magnificent if i'm not mistaking this pool is all for me i've been told to use it whenever i want and that's what I'm gonna do and this is the tree with figs and I just brought three figs I wanted to show them to you guys on a video but you know what I ate them all so this is the cypress and all the view we have around now I love these beautiful plants but most of all I love these rolls of hay and the mountains in the back it reminds me of Scotland and these palms oh, they remind me of Florida so this place is just absolutely beautiful phenomenal it feels so amazing so spacious so clean this is the open area this is the TV. This is the stuff I brought with me. I'm going to put some washing on. Uh, this is the dining area. This is where the lives will be happening and the meditation tonight. So, guys, you have got to join the meditation that is going to happen tonight. And I'm going to talk to you about it in a second. And this is Buba and my magnificent protection energy cleansing crystal that I take with me everywhere. So Buba says hello and we have here this <laughs> magnificent mirror which is just amazing because it's a triangle. A little bit of music. The bathroom is such a nice size and it feels so right. I already made myself hi. <laughs> I already made myself feel home because this is how I like things to have and this is the walk-in wardrobe it's very spacious i already laid my stuff over there we even have a ladder in case i want to go on the top or not so i wanted to share with you guys that uh, absolutely everything is possible and i have here with me my uh Natal tea. Absolutely everything is possible if we are choosing to make the feeling of the wish fulfilled our absolutely permanent energetic signature. I wanted to talk about it with you because if I would not heal my energy, being here in Cyprus, my huge big dream come true, with not happened. So how did it happen that since November I started, since December, November, November and December, I started manifesting like crazy things I could not manifest for all the years before. And I've been on this beautiful self-healing, evolvement, expansion journey for over six years and nearly seven and the last maybe three four years I started knowing so much more what I want where I want to be how I want my life to look like and there's so many things I've done about it there is so much action I have put into creating that life into creating the foundation within me to be able to manifest that yet it didn't happen I could not do it until I joined the tribe. 
until I dove 100% into this magnificent work until I've done absolutely everything I could. And don't get me wrong, just taking action is not the only way of action because not taking action is an action in itself as well. Oh, let me maybe put the phone like that. That's going to be so much easier. What I'm trying to say, guys, is that there is a beautiful and magnificent level of balance in between divine feminine and divine masculine within every single one of us. And when we are acting from a place of wounded masculine, which is trying to go and get it only, push it, pull it, manipulate it, Things will not go right because we act from a place of wounded masculine, from a place of lack, from a place of not good enoughness. The same it is on the other hand with wounded feminine. When we are in victimhood, when we are in poor me, I need a hero in my life to take care of me or let me jump entirely from my wounded feminine into my wounded masculine because I am a single person, I, 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 I need to do it all, both masculine and feminine on my own, then there is this massive disbalance within us. And that creates the disbalanced energetic signature, which only attracts disbalanced energies within us and all around us. So when I started looking into all aspects of my energy, that they need to be healed, balanced, shifted. And where exactly do I need to surrender and let go instead of chasing, chasing, chasing? Where can I sit back? Where can I rest, rest assured, knowing my energy is healed, my energy is exactly of the frequency that I want my heart desires, right, over there, if my energetic signature is matching that frequency, then I can rest assured, knowing I already am that which I'm creating and manifesting. And that's a huge, massive difference. So I have relocated today from one side to another. I think it was about 45 minute drive here. This place is beautiful, magnificent. And this morning I started with a magnificent breath work. I was talking in previous videos about John Paul's breath work online course. There's actually live online course. It's happening through the Zooms. And I've done JP's breath work this morning, plus other breath work, plus another long meditation. So I've done like two and a half hours of a beautiful marathon. My energy was so magnificently cleansed. I came here, I started unpacking, and I burst into tears. I burst from emotions flowing through me and out of me. I started missing my loved ones. I started, oh, here we go again. I started missing my loved ones. I started embracing the fact that I manifested what I dreamed of so much and my dream of showing others how to step into their power is already manifested because I already did that for, for, for months, months, good few years now. And that everything I've always wanted and needed is here within me. And yes, it is amazing to, to have that stuff around. Yet the most important and always will be is that inner safety, is that inner security, is that inner feeling of me being the person I've always wanted to find. I always wanted to have around. I always wanted to spend time with. So it is really, really, really easy for me to spend time with myself. But I do miss my loved ones. I do miss the my favorite people ever. And that's all okay. That's all okay. I feel like this chapter of my journey 
uh, right now in between the old one and the new one there is this jump that it's happening i quit my nine to five in beginning of the may i handed my notice in beginning of april i left beginning of may two days later i felt two days later i was on a plane to mexico 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 then i thought i would be back home to scotland in about maybe two three weeks and i came back after two months and then i started wrapping everything up in scotland the way exactly i wanted for a good few years and i just was unable to do it and i started putting my house on the market and my car and wrapping up all my life into few boxes and suitcases and travel the world in between all of that i manifested the love of my life <laughs> like the person that I'm like, I know that person exists. I know it is somewhere there. I just don't know if I will meet that person, but I know it is there. And I've got to open up in case I've got to open up and be ready to be the person I would love to spend my life with, to be that energetic signature in case that person is gonna show up. Uh, so I needed to be in love state of mind before I even, even, even met that person. Now, if you're watching this, hi! <laughs> I'm just sharing the joy, sharing the joy love, and I will be sharing even more joy. I've been defining I that to uh, host, <laughs> okay, this is good, to host a free group healing, deep energy healing meditation, very similar to the one I have posted on my website elisamozal.com so that deep healing meditation i'll be doing in a group on a zoom in three and a half hours and the link to that event is here in the description box so if you feel called in your heart to join the tribe of like-minded people try and experience open heart coherence whether you create it on your own or you will borrow it the frequency from someone else and allow it to open your own beautiful heart to receive even more love if that feels attractive to you if that feels like a calling in your heart maybe even a week ago or a month ago in your meditation or in your dreams or when you were crying you were asking the divine give me on my path the tribe that i want i need put on my path someone who can show me the way how can i be my unique uh, authentic self because this is my version this is my version of my unique uh self in this chapter of my journey the next chapter of my journey it might be just me in the kitchen just me in the kitchen creating beautiful meals for my love and 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 hosting maybe uh, dinner parties who knows on this chapter of my journey uh, this is me being my authentic self and sharing that love with others that the people i'm working with on one-to-one -one, there's so much energy that flows through me for them and i actually started yesterday i felt guided to create a post and announce four openings for intensive three weeks long only one-to-one -one work with me and then i felt guided elisa you you wrote quite a big part of that post but leave it for tomorrow tomorrow energy will shift even more leave it for the next day and that's what i did and i didn't still even post it yet and already i'm starting to receiving messages Elisa, as soon you have a free opening please let me know i really need to work with you so this is what's happening right now because i am in alignment with my divinity i am in alignment with my heart's desires i am rolling up my sleeves every day and i do what brings the divine within me into this world and i share from the heart so this is my expression what is your most authentic divine expression of yourself in this chapter of your journey you do not have to lock yourself in one box for the rest of your life you can just choose it by current present chapters depending on what your heart is telling you right now so if you're not sure what that is even please invest time love energy sit down with your beautiful open heart and allow yourself to get to know 
your beautiful heart. This is where the divinity and guidance and love lies. This is how you are told what is the best for you. What is your truth, not someone else's? What is your most authentic expression of yourself that makes you jump out of bed in the morning instead of drag it? Oh no, I have to get up and do this and that. I've been there. I've been there for a very long time. I felt like in a cage for a very long time, very long time. I spoke about it many times. I will talk about it again soon. For now, I'm going to tell you something beautiful. If you send out a soul call for help, support, upliftment, your energy has got to be cleansed. And tonight, it is the opportunity. We meet up in three and a half hours on Zoom. Please click on that beautiful link above where you can click I'm going. There will be a Zoom link in description. And I will post that as well in the comments section. It would be amazing to have you come with open heart, open mind. It's a 30, 40 minutes session. We're going to share whoever wants to share whatever they celebrate. We will actually practice being happy from open heart for one another, which allows us to expand and open to more receivership. And then we will dive into a deep energy healing meditation to shift your energy with a tuning fork 11 11 hertz that is doing magic for whoever I'm having sessions with. I'm very excited. I would love you to join. Please comment below, put your hand up, send a heart, invite your friends, invite your loved ones, invite your family, invite your co-workers, allow yourself to receive. And I'm so excited and I look forward to see you in three and a half hours. I'm sending you lots of love and big warm hugs. Mwah.